Students in Action has changed my high school career for the better. Three years ago, I had no idea what it meant to be a member of Students in Action. Students in Action is about encouraging you to think big, to take on projects, and to be the change that you want to see. And with that, I present to you Greenville Technical Charter High School's Year of Service. This year, our focus was on promoting positive mental health strategies. We wanted our peers to understand that they are not alone. One in five people are experiencing mental health issues right now in this country. Mental health is essential for the development and realization of every person's bright future. Everyone on our team knows someone with or are personally struggling themselves with mental health issues. This is remembrance of losing him. At his funeral, there was a newfound awareness around those closest to him about his suffering, depression, anxiety, self-harm, and suicide. Every student on our team knows at least one young person that has taken their life due to one of the following. But there are still so many more fighting and struggling to make it through each day. Losing someone to suicide is heartbreaking. The death not only affects their family, but also everyone they knew. I have experienced losing someone very close to me and it truly changed me. Our team addressed mental health and suicide because it affects everyone. It was a message that needed to be heard and that was our goal. Young teens knowing that they're not alone. Information is power. Our team wanted students to know that there's help out there and that it's okay to ask for it. We wanted to stop the stigma by hosting the Treat Yourself 2020 conference. Two things you learn early in Students in Action. One, service often takes money. And two, there are resources in our community ready to help students who are willing to multiply good. We raised over $2,000 to pay for facility rental, meals for 220 people, and fun swag like these glasses. We want to thank Belk for the opportunity to participate in the Belk charity sale. We invited psychiatrist Dr. Frank Clark to be our keynote speaker for the Treat Yourself 2020 conference. At the conference, Clark opened up about his struggles with mental health and how it impeded his quest to be a doctor. He also advised students to take care of their mental health and to reach out for help if they really need it. We invited 21 diverse community members from a variety of occupations to come and speak with the students. Each of these adults would overcome different obstacles as they grew up. Depression, anxiety, poverty, and discrimination, just to name a few. Students were able to recognize themselves in these adults and through their conversations receive advice and encouragement that they could succeed as well. Many of our guests will be the first in their family to attend college. Most had never visited a college. Meeting face to face with admission people encouraged them to think bigger. 15 colleges from all across South Carolina were represented at Treat Yourself 2020. We wanted this conference to be a fun yet beneficial event for students. We wanted to be able to connect them to different organizations such as Mental Health America that could help them out, but also other organizations like the Blood Connection and Project Switch that could expose them to different various potential volunteer opportunities as well. Here are some of the organizations that we've worked with. We wanted to make the Treat Yourself 2020 worth getting up for on a rainy Saturday. One of the many cool things that made this day special was the dessert extravaganza. We got many donations from the team and from the community. To keep things light, we provided upbeat breaks during the conversation rotations by drawing for prizes as the adults moved to the next tables. We had so many amazing donations like duffel bags, gift cards, peace center tickets, Greenville team gifts, and even jewelry. Not only did we have such amazing prizes, but we also made so many amazing connections along the way. This is my first year on the team, and I honestly thought this event was going to be a flop. But after months of planning, we all came together and impacted over 220 people. After Dr. Frank's talk, the question and answer session brought us sharing of experiences and challenges from the students and adults that brought us all together. It was at that moment when we were all connected, 
We knew TY 2020 was a success. I joined my experience at this event. The experience kind of dope. I like the professionals. They're all interested, but like, your lasagna was... It's been a really positive experience just getting to hear from career professionals, and it kind of reassured me that not everyone has to know what they're doing with their life at this stage. Uh, a lot of them figured it out later. A lot of them changed directions probably through their careers, so that was really reassuring for me. Overall, reflecting on the past year of service, our goal as a team was to be those people in our schools that other students could turn to if they needed help. By hosting the Treat Yourself 2020 conference, we overcame the differences between us and became a family. But more importantly, we fundamentally rejected the idea that teenagers can't do anything because they're teenagers. I've learned how important it is to address the seriousness of mental health. Money makes the big projects happen. The Students in Action conferences really helped our planning, especially the breakout sessions when we were taught to collaborate with people that we didn't really know. We found we had to pivot quickly when something unplanned happens, such as when three of our 21 adults canceled last minute. Planning can be exhausting, but the outcome is well worth it. A small group of students can make a big impact on their community. We became the change we wanted to see in the world, and in turn, we became students in action. We are. 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 We are students in action.